Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I... I still can't believe he's gone. Among the hist. Sacrificed himself. Instead of slaying a vampire, as is our call, as is our duty, he sacrificed his own life so that someone may survive. It goes against everything that I've ever been taught as a vigilant of Stendar. I just can't believe that it happened. I can't believe that he's gone. <laughs> he was such a conflicted man, though. I think a lot of it had to do with the little girl that I found him with at Boulder Fall Cave, I think it was called. I mean, having to slay the little girl because she was a vampire, and then I think he had a companion also that became infected and it was too late to cure him and this is somehow his way of redeeming himself by giving his own life to cure someone of vampirism but it, it was it's just too much it's it's too much of a conflict as a vigilant it, it's it's my duty to destroy the daedra and evil wherever it may hide. <laughs> Syfax, I'm glad you came to look after me. What's for dinner, my old friend? I see. Well, with everything I've been going through, <clears throat> it was my decision to leave the Order, to leave the Vigilant of Stendar. I, I just, I couldn't keep killing Daedra and vampires and all that. I, I just couldn't do it anymore after watching a man give his own life I'm going to leave that to the Vigilant. It's going to be up to them now. They're going to have to hunt down the vampires. They're going to have to put an end to this war. I need to focus on helping people. I, I want to take the example that Among the Hist has left. Sacrificing his, his own life. I need to up the stakes. My life needs to count for something. There are so many people out there that need help. It's up to me. It's up to me. So, as you know, my dear friend from Hammerfell, I have renounced Stendar. Trying to make sense. Yes. Of everything that's happened. And I've become. Can I help you? A priest of RK. Can I help you? Not at the moment. Can I help you? I've been thinking that maybe I should go to the College of Winterhold. I could teach. Hmm? I've mastered restoration. Hmm? And it's something that I could pass on to others. Yes? Yes. I want you to hang out here. 
I have some things that I need to take care of. I'm going to the Hall of the Dead where I've been working with Anders and learning about the ways of Arke. I'll be there, and then I think I'm going to be leaving Whiterun for a while. It's funny how I moved back into this old home after I left the Vigilant. It's still quite cozy. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you and Lydia will not get at each other's throats. But I'll be back in a day or two. Take care, old friend. Anders, are you still awake? Hmm, it's quite early in the morning. He's probably sleeping. But here, let me commune with R.K. Mighty R.K., help guide me. Help me find my place in the world, and help me help others. Let me meditate and become stronger. All right, adding more stamina. I still hope to be able to help with the Dragonborn Gallery. And I think it's time that I strengthen my restoration even further. So, this overflowing cup, if I can see this, <laughs> something about a spell or effect when you're already at full health overheals you, fortifying health by one point per level of restoration for 20 seconds. Oh my, I just realized 14 points per points. Uh, I've been traveling a lot since among the hiss death trying to find myself and did manage to amass plenty of experience. So, let's see. Under my wings, dual casting a healing spell on yourself. Also, cast it on nearby non-mechanical allies. All right, I'll take that. It's the wheel of life in combat grant gradually accumulates ambient life force from the environment and releases it in periodic bursts, healing you 100 points every 30 seconds. Becoming affected by a different healing spell or effect restarts the cycle from the beginning. Alright, I'll take that too. Enduring Ideal Wheel of Life heals 25% more, and each new cycle is five seconds faster than the last. If I'm to teach at the College of Winterhold, I should have full mastery. All right, so Putrefy Spell, I'm not interested in that. Plague Doctor Pestilence, no. Diseased or undead, no. Hopefully I won't be either. All right, so this, I still have issues as to whether or not I want a ward every time I'm casting a spell. I think we'll leave that alone for now. All right, so we have well, about as full restoration as I could possibly want. Uh, let's see, so I have the mage armor now that I'm wearing robes. 
And let's see, what would this... Hmm, intangible. I don't know about that. If wearing light... If wearing light robes... Robes and no light or heavy armor, incoming attack and elemental damage reduces it by 35%. But you lose magicka. What? Equal to the amount of health lost. The damage reduction gradually diminishes as magicka falls below half. The energy shield is disabled when your hands are lowered. Well, it started to sound interesting, but maybe not. All right, so the Arcane Thesis, use it to master the spell you are dual casting. A mastered spell is 20% more powerful or lasts 40% longer. Only one spell can be mastered. And I don't know at this time which spell that might be. All right, here, this energy roll, royal. Whenever you cast a spell with one hand, it reduces the armor of nearby enemies within 10 feet by 150 points for four seconds. Rend resistances when you attack with a weapon reduces the magic resistance of nearby enemies within, within 10 feet by 15% by four seconds. All right, we'll take that while I'm thinking of it, but uh, I'm really not using weapons these days. This is going to be, oh, well, weakening a lock would be helpful. No, no pillars of earth. All right, but I will go ahead and take the uh, alteration dual casting. should do for now. <clears throat> Thank you, mighty RK. Let me just sit here and reflect. I think Anders will be up shortly. Good morning, Anders. Looks like you must have slept in. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Well, that's one way of looking at it. But I appreciate all that you've taught me. I'm gonna be going now. There are some adventures and some responsibilities ahead. Good yes. day, Iria. How can I help you? How can Magicka energy be better conserved? By concentrating its effects at a specific area rather than the body as a whole. Hmm. For a Master of Restoration, sure, the point is moot. Even a Grand Healing spell is but a portion of their Magicka reserve. But for a Novice Mage or Spell Sword, the amount saved on Magicka potions alone could be substantial. I see. Thank you. Farewell.
All right, I'm going to head to the College of Winterhold. All right, so after spending much of the day at the college, it was suggested by Mirabelle that I come out here to Sothal and speak with Tolthdia about gaining my mastery in alteration. The Archmage seems to be all right with the idea of me becoming a... Is someone there? Wait, Is what's going on? someone there? <laughs> Here you are. What vampires? Is everyone all right? I'm surprised that the college is allowed to excavate here. I bet your family would be amazed, right? Amazed isn't the right word. They might find this offensive. Well. Well. Didn't mean to cause such a commotion. This is better than sitting around talking about magic, don't you think? I find this? it hard to believe this excavation was approved. Onman's battle mage. Oh, these students have certainly become a lot more powerful than when I'm I not first so appeared sure we should be here. at the college. Onman, you look so young and callow. I'm not so sure we should be here. That's quite a powerful conjuration, though. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Uh, no. Good we to shouldn't. See you. I need to ask you, is there anything more I can learn about alteration magic? At this very moment? No. However... Well, I've been working on something. An improvement on the Ebony Flesh spell. I've made progress, but then hit a snag. I think perhaps you could help. How can I help? I need you to collect some dragon scales. And not just any dragon scales. As I've said, I made some progress using the essence of dragon scales, but they're just not quite potent enough. My knowledge of Skyrim's history is far from complete. But I did some research and discovered two things. First, there are ancient references to dragon heart scales. What little I could learn suggests they may be what I need. Second, there are stories of a dagger called Calvazine's Fang, said to be sharp enough to carve individual scales off a dragon. First, you'll need to retrieve the dagger, then use it to carve a few scales off a dragon. Presumably a deceased one. <laughs> Well, it's funny, because I actually found a dagger called Cavazine's Fang. And I've been carrying it around for quite some time. And now I finally know what it's used for. I'll return shortly with the dragon scales. That would be wonderful. I'll be sure and have everything ready. This is exciting, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Well, is there anything else you can tell me about the dagger? Not much, I'm afraid. It was named Cavazine's Fang after the dragon worshipped by this particular sect of what the cult. We will find they were said to be quite fond of ritual sacrifices. So fond, in fact, that the high priest spent a great deal of time sharpening the dagger. That way, it was always ready for the next inevitable victim. Perhaps not the brightest spot in Skyrim's history, eh? Hmm, perhaps not. And tell me, what's so important about this place? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. 
All right, well, maybe when I come back, I can help you with that. But, um, tell me, though, how do I collect these dragon scales? Not just any dragon scales, heart scales. Very special. Mm -hmm. You'll need Cavazine's fang, of course. Yes, of course. Then, if you should happen upon the corpse of a dragon, you should be able to use it to slice off a heart scale or two. Even just one should be enough for me to complete my research. I'm All right. To see what's in there. Well then, this is I think I'll be on my way, Tolf dear. Not All right then. No. Some very bad things happened here. All what? right. Your that whole your mage is still eggs. here. Well, it all worked out in the end, did it not? It's I quite think, impressive. given the state of Skyrim, some might disagree. This is better than sitting around talking about magic, don't you think? Yep, yeah, that vampire attack certainly was. Who knows Wait, what we might Tolf find? Deer conjured a battle mage too. This is too? better than sitting around talking about and a magic, Khajiit. don't you think? That's odd. You would think that, you know, it might be a. I think with this Tolftira Nord, I, it looks like one. You would think it would be a... When, whatever, the same race as him. But it's interesting that he conjured a, a Khajiit. Speaking of Khajiit... This is exciting, isn't it? Jazago. Who knows what we might find in it? You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? <laughs> it's funny... Oh, come on. I have mastered them. There's nothing here that I can... <laughs> well, not yet, but I will. Ah, this is good. But Gisargo will know them first. Mm, you'll be last, Gisargo. It is Gisargo. good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Gisargo. I bet. Well, you seem very sure of yourself. There is much for Gisargo to be sure of. There is skill in magic, there is charm, and there is a strong will. Gisargo will be successful. Of this there is no doubt. All right, well, it's, it's unfortunate. I've completed the Master Destruction spell ritual. I have Master Destruction spells. I'm not sure why I wasn't able to communicate that to you. But anyhow, have a nice day. Until next time. Can you time. believe we're here? Sarthal of all places. I'm surprised that the college is allowed to excavate here. I bet your family would be amazed, right? All right. Amazed isn't the right word. They might find this... I have some unfinished business that I need to take care of. In Riverwood. That was a long journey. I don't know, it seems so eerie walking through Riverwood at night. It's almost as though there could be a vampire stalking the people of this fine village. Wait, don't I know this woman? Zora, is that you? Well met. So, how does it feel to be back home? Does this town look different at all to you? Um... God, it will be when I kill everyone. Um... No, it really looks like the same old Riverwood. Yes, I bet Sigrid is still hectoring Calvary like a pet dog. And speaking of which, it's good to see Stump is still alive too. I forget how he got his name. I think it's because he's always curled about like a stump. All right. Oh, well, it's good seeing you again. Bye. Who is this Khajiit woman over here staring? Hello? Need something? Ah, oh, you're just a traveler, okay. So, eight o'clock. I'm here because I never retrieved the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. And I think it's time that I 
embraced the fact that I'm the Dragonborn. Yes? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. At least one good thing. It's nighttime, so it would be appropriate to ask for a room. This one needs something? Yes? This place is quite crowded. You're that visitor been poking around. Yes, I am. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'm sure it is. But I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Yes. Well, we don't have an attic room. Really? But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay, thank you. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Really? I just spoke to a Khajiit woman outside that was a traveler, and... I'm looking at all these people in here, and... I'd say most of them are probably travelers. So... I'm not sure what you're talking about, Delphine. Who is this man that keeps walking around? Sven. What's wrong with him? Hmm? See, look, traveler. Hmm? Well, maybe. There's maybe something. Oh, he's a merchant and a traveler. Need something? Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. Trying to see who is curious about me in this room. It's kind of hard to tell. Everyone's acting bizarrely. So you're the dragonborn uh, I've been hearing so much about. So you're the one. I that think left you're the looking note. for this. We need to talk. Follow me. What? But I wanted to get some rest. Uh, I just had a long journey from Sarthal. What do you need? Uh, I tell you. My work is never done, is it? You're not afraid of me, are you? Who, me? Afraid of you? <laughs> I'm but a humble priest, Delphine. Close the door. Oh, sorry. A humble now priest of Arche. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. So do I. <laughs> so. The Greybeards are right. I am Dragonborn. I hope so, but you'll forgive me if I don't right, assume this, that something's this hope true and just because the Greybeards is getting so. old. I just handed you the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Yes, you did. Does that make me Dragonborn too? Oh. Oh, we have jokes now, do we? So, what do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. <laughs> I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Go on. I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be I Dragonborn. I might be. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. Mm-hmm. And how can I trust you? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. 
I'm not sure if it's me that's the fool. You see, I may be a humble priest of R.K., but the light inside me is so intense that none can stand before it. So tell me, woman, I mean, tell me, child, why did you take the horn from Ustengrav? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. Oh. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes. That's how I first learned I was Dragonborn. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So, what's the part that you're not telling me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone there somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. What makes you think that dragons are coming back to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're we? going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. And how did you figure all this out? You should know. You got the map for me. The Dragonstone oh, you got for right. Farangar, remember? Yes, you were wearing that, that hooded outfit trying to... Yes, right. I remember you now. So you were paying attention. Oh. I arranged to have Farangar recover the Dragonstone for me. You know, it's your, what I do. your little remarks... I make things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. You know, you're, you're so lucky that I've become a priest of Arcade. I mean, the things that you say to me, you know, if I were someone else, if I wasn't, you know, holy or divine or trying to practice good and right, the things that you say could end up with you and your head cleaved off. Just be careful, child. Some people aren't going to go with this nonsense, this foolishness that you're spouting. So, I'm to understand that the Dragonstone was some kind of map? Yes, a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Geralds near Riften. The one near Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. All right. Well, I do want to embrace my dragonborn nature. I've pretty much neglected it so far, and I seem to have a lot of time on my hands now that I'm no longer with the Vigilant. So, where are we headed? Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. All right. Then let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. Hmm, impressive. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. I'll take that for some food along the way. Probably get hungry. Hmm, the rise and fall of the blades. Interesting. Orgnar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Hmm? Well met. 
Well, hello. I thought we were traveling. Oh, mm -hmm. oh wait, who was? Huh? Oh, that's Zora. I'm Need getting something. Her. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Uh, I'll meet you there. Do you need something? Let's get going. All right. <laughs> 